Well, we have the head pastor of Believer's House of Worship International, Apostle Abraham Lante, seated here with us this morning. I have to tell you, sir, Mestre, sir, over flow be. Now, catch you on your corner, our friend, is on some flow be. No flow be. You're free Ghana phone, yeah, so be on Max TV because it's solution times. I know these are anxious times. A lot of you people are looking for the way out and how to stay calm in these trying times. And none of people have a chicken come on. And remember, I said, we are going to also open the phone lines for you to also call and ask some of the difficult questions. This man of God is built to capacity. He's seated here in grace and star, looking fantastic. Good morning to you. Good morning, sir. Mm, mm. What's it then? Yehovah Dromo. Yehovah Dromo. That's right. Thank That's God. Right. That's I have right. to um, say you're looking great. And Whoever, who, I love the top. The top, right? Looks Big shout out to Mish Mega. Wow. The guy who put it together. Needing the Mish Mega. Yeah, it yeah. looks it looks good. <laughs> Thank you. Looks, I love mm. things done by the hand and the brain. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. All it right. Looks good. Thank A you. big question. Where mm. have you been? It looks like you've uh, <laughs> gone underground a little bit. Where have you been? <laughs> I, I, you know, we have seed time and harvest time. Thank you. Seeds are quiet when they are sown. Thank you. And they look loud in harvest. Wow. So if you're always out there, you run dry. Your warehouse will be empty. You need to hide a little to reboot, mm. not to come back repeating yourself, mm. but to come back with things that are new. So I've been around, but you know, if you don't let people dissect what you've given them to get the good out of it, but you're always giving, there'll be no time to become products of your expectations. So It's just like watering a flower. That's right. You keep watering it, you yeah. will destroy it. Yeah. But if you water it and you leave, you it, leave it for a while, yeah. it regains um, the strength from the soil and That's then right. produces. That's right. You see, yeah. same be kind. Hmm? <laughs> Words of wisdom in Kote. <laughs> All right. Yes, sir. Um, when I started the show, I was asking God, what should I tell the people this morning? Because my, uh, my, the lady I work with, Oniha Day. Yeah. Um, I was going to ask where she is. Yeah, and, and, and baby. Um, oh, okay. Cassandra has to do some baby nursing to this morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, baby um, also is on leave of you know, like some few things, but she'll be back. Yeah. yeah. Baby, you better get back before I pull you back. <laughs> I know she's watching. Wow. And she'll go like that. You didn't tell me you were mm -hmm. coming. All right. Yeah. So today we're going to dive into a um, friend in Penyon 4. Um, let's look at also the youth and um, the children. Um, in this particular times that we're in. Yeah. Um, the first question will be, how do we stay still in this time? How do we remain calm in this economic crisis that we face? <sighs> to remain calm mm -hmm. in the state in which we find ourselves. Mm -hmm. First, let me say a godly, glorious morning to your viewers. Thank you. And uh, the family here. Thank you. They always make me feel at home. Thank you. In fact, if you don't understand what is going on, mm -hmm. staying calm will be difficult. Wow. Okay. Chaos is a product of lack of understanding. Mm. Having an understanding of what is going on helps you know what to do. Okay. So then you will be calm. But if you are in the chaos and you don't know what's going on, you have no understanding of what's going on, then you can't be still. Mm. So we need to understand what is going on. Then by understanding it, we will together know what to do okay. to come out of it. But if we, we, we don't know what's going on mm. and we are feeling the chaos, we are feeling the heat, mm. definitely staying calm will be difficult. That is one. Wisdom. Two, if you are being led by somebody, look at the person. Okay. When I'm flying, 
I stay calm by looking at the flight attendants, their composure. That's a good way to look at that. That's a very good way. When of... they become jittery, then there is something wrong. Mm. Mm. It doesn't matter how tough they will show themselves to be. It will show. It will show. Mm. Then you know you are in danger. But if they are calm, they are in their, you know, if you watch their body language, you can relax. If they are smiling. That talking is it. to you with yes. good composure. Then you mm. can relax okay. and there is a way out. Mm. So you must also focus on who is leading you. Mm. Because if the person leading you has been through that journey before, the person will know how to handle it together with you. Wow. So staying calm, you must have somebody to look up to. And as a preacher, I'll tell you, he says, he is the way. The truth. And the life. And so when there is a problem in the way, contact the one who is the way. <laughs> and at the end of the day, the experiences you will acquire mm. by following him will make you a leader for others to follow. I say this always. Don't follow someone who has never been led. And that's the, that's the problem we have as youth. All right. So now the, the foundation of this conversation is understanding. Understanding what's happening. What's happening. And then having a leader. Mm -hmm. In this case, let God lead. Let God lead. Yeah. Okay. It, so, the Bible said, be still and know mm -hmm. that I am the Lord. Here's the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. The wilderness. Mm -hmm. Pharaoh is coming. You have nowhere to turn. And the man says, be still. If you believe in the one leading, you will be still. Mm. Okay. Now, understanding. Yeah. How do we get to understand? One of um, prominent men of God said, mm. I understand that I can't understand God. That's Papa Nick. <laughs> Salute you, Grandpa. Yo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Archbishop of uh, Duncan Nicholas Williams. Duncan Williams yeah. says, I understand, I understand that, that I, don't I can't understand. understand God. I can't. So... How then do we understand the terrain that we're in at this very moment? Truth. Thank you. Truth. You know, truth works with acceptance of responsibility. Mm. People will stay calm when you take responsibility and you explain the problem to them. But if you don't take responsibility, but you rather transfer it to them, mm. knowing very well that I have put you there because I felt you can do it. Mm. When things are not right, accept responsibility. Come tell us, these and that and that is what's going on. I can't for baby said, and Kranfosi, So why not brainstorm? One shall put a thousand to flight, but two shall put 10,000. So letting people understand what is going on on the ground and taking responsibility will let all of us get our hands to the plow. Mm. Yeah. But if you being at the helm of affairs, you don't tell us exactly what it is. If it is red and you paint it blue, only for us to scratch and find red. The trust is broken. It's like an egg. Mm. You can get it back. So it's about letting the people know what exactly is going on, accepting your mistakes, and making room for correction for things to be right. Taking responsibility. All right. In the American um, there, communication, you no. Know? has to be right and truthful and and being truthful yeah and, and what kind of thing then okay now yem from bra um the families mm -hmm. because we are a, a body yeah, of we a body people of, we yeah. families and all of that yeah um fathers have been hit hard mothers have been hit hard firstborn children I've been hit hard. That's a topic to talk about later. 
firstborn children. The firstborn children. Uh, to every firstborn child all over the world, uh, I know how tough it is. On the, from the, the responsibility for firstborns and on your easy cry. Even God doesn't work with firstborns. The, yeah. uh, I, I believe that your, your, your firstborn be a CCR. On the family's responsibility, I want to show that. Nejuma say, or she left to write her own humor on yet. Oh, who a corner cry, do it then offer do. Into yet, yes, let's just dub into because let's let's just tackle that because there is a firstborn as CC. I also show you, um, this will save him. Every firstborn, spiritually and physically, mm -hmm. takes the parents to the apprenticeship. Hey, every firstborn. Mm -hmm. Clomo fan clomo. Boji money you follow like a case on him. Now choose your work at the end. A back end be an one of who for a new senior year. So the uh, the mistakes they will commit in raising you mm. makes them perfect in raising your siblings. Wow. If you do not understand this, you will grow hating them. Mm. 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 Now, so every firstborn does not belong to the parents. We call it Clomo or Fomona Agbelemo, the one who opened the womb. So every filth that was in there, you cleansed it. You brought, you carried it out before wow. the womb became clean. So naturally, firstborns always are treated, in quote, tough. It's true. I'm tough for my daughter. And the yeah. mistakes of the parents, mm. especially... Mm. You know, firstborns are normally not born in rich times. So it becomes quite now. Let me show you something. God demands first fruits. So every firstborn must be a sacrifice. Wow. That is why firstborns are treated like sacrifices. Hmm. Now, if you fail to treat that firstborn as a sacrifice, that firstborn will fail. I see. Adam failed. By that experience, Jesus succeeded. Yeah, I'm blessed. <laughs> so we need to understand that firstborns mm -hmm. are the school of apprenticeship okay. for parents. And you, the firstborn, must also know you are a sacrifice. That's why God had to sacrifice Jesus, who is the firstborn of the new generation. If you don't sacrifice the first, mm -hmm. you can't possess the rest. If you don't sacrifice the first, you can possess the rest. That's why in business they will tell you your first profit. Mm -hmm. Don't consume it. Reinvest. Mistakes. Anna, uh, parents were ye, uh, uh, common mistakes that were in raising their firstborns. To tell you the truth, it varies. Okay. One, from the background of the father, mm -hmm. the background of the mother. Wow. Raising children is the most complex academic ladder you will ever desire to climb. But you really for trick, Because human beings are so complex. Okay. Chede, I will ban a pede etetum, nyede benyen, nebetetum. There's a difference between raising a child and training a child. Okay. In raising, I had to sell poultry farm. Okay. You raise to sell. But training is like the reproduction of yourself, but a better form. So in raising a firstborn, I was telling a young lady, the only time a mother appreciates her mother's advice is when her daughter gets her age.
mm. when she thought the mother was doing something. Ampa, Ampa. Tina, on the word is to train up a child in the, the way, way he should train go. go. So train. That, it's mm. about training. Now, in the TN, so no near wound Nimonobusa. No near lay a bini a chombo. Because one head cannot contain all things. Mm. So, in raising a child, for instance, I wish us of mommy were here. Wow. You know, she, in raising a child, you need to seek for the help of God. Because every child comes with a different spirit, a different energy, on a different mission. You can't train all of them the same way. Modern day education calls it temperaments. Mm. So they can't all be trained the same way. You need to understand the energy they are coming with, their spiritual standing, and their mission. As their purpose. Yeah. All right. So you know how to relate to firstborn, secondborn, thirdborn. And the last one that came without planning, you were just, you know, having fun. And after three months, honey, the thing hasn't come. What thing? <laughs> and then you have to position yourself to train another one. Mm. So God gives you a gift in a child mm. as a question paper. Oh, this is deep. Nyame mau achedi. Ewo obem. Uh huh. De unsoche adzusiya. Silence. Agana, <laughs> you blessed this morning. Now, um, yeah, but um, the, the the firstborns now mm -hmm. with this economic crisis now, how does one stay and lead? Omo our own parents won't you honor man? How do they um approach? This times. I have a simple way of going about it. Okay. Love what you do. Love what you do. If you survived yesterday, mm. what makes you think you die today? Mm. God, you see, God will not give you life for you to fail. Mm. So he will be disappointed. Mm. He will not take you where he cannot protect you for the next step. So everything that is happening now is a lesson. But if you do not learn, you repeat. Ampa. And whatever is going on is a repetition. You are running in circles. You remember 1982, mm. what happened? Mm, a comno. 81, mm. what happened that led us into 82? Mm -hmm. Are we not in 2022? Now that. 40 years, exactly 40 years. Hmm. I don't want to sound spiritual or numerological person here. Oh, no. But it's exactly 40 years. Hmm. And we've not learned from it. So we keep going round, round, round until somebody will go into the books and discover that after 40 years, you should have been free. And this is what you must do to be free. Another 40 years will come. Indeed. And we will still. America, if there is not a turn around now, we'll still go around the circles. Education is a process of a turn around because okay. you don't want to end like your father, in your but to be better than. That's why he's educating you. So when you, 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 after being educated, if you are worse than your father, you are a disappointment. Mm, 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 mm. And see, we you share family, mm -hmm. the first your friend institution yeah. of um Yenyan Kupono Bosu Nasas. Yeah. Um Sika plays a major role. No. Uh, okay, let me that is why our society mm -hmm. is being damaged. All right, because of that thought pattern. That thought pattern. All right. That it is about money. Mm. Hello. Thank you for Uncle, the correction. Yeah. It, it is no money. It's family. Our desperation to make money is breaking the value of family. And when the value of family is broken, wickedness and evil mm -hmm. rules. Mm. Because you don't care to kill your brother mm. to make money. Mm. But when you add value to family, mm. money will save you. When you add value to money, mm -hmm. to family, sorry, mm -hmm. money will save you. 
But when you go out for money, family will be of no value. And you don't have a problem killing your brother, your sister, all because you want to have money. Money answers all things. C can, I, can I break it down here? But you're breaking my... So if it is a thing, then money will answer the question of a thing. And a human being is not Thank a thing. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. What I was about to ask, and it, uh, it has become like a pillar um, in our families. The men go out there to fish. And when they don't get fish, what be few grandpa away then? We'll the wives will frown their faces. Your, um, which the, is wrong. <laughs> what is the correct? When you read the Bible, God mm -hmm. says it is not good for the man to be alone. Your, Let's make unto the man a help meet. Mm -hmm. I repeat, a help meet. So who is to take from who? The man is to take from <laughs> the woman. That is the original thing. Wow. <laughs> Not the other way around. But because we have turned it, this is the society we have today. You never read it. You, you never you, processed you, that you, scripture. No question. The woman was made to help the man meet. So where the man meets 100 and he has 80, the woman must provide 20. So when the woman by listening to the enemy the serpent caused that chaos then god said, after the man shall you go originally the man must go after the woman mm. like a son looking for the mother but for the mother to have listened to the one she's not supposed to and mess the whole plan up let me also change the whole plan wow now, instead of being gone after, you go after. So when you become born again, you should stop going after man. Because you've been restored. I was preaching somewhere and I asked them, is God in the Bible? Yes, 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 yes. I said, are you serious? Because we, we read the Bible, we don't Teddy, the Bible. They are not the same. I realized that recently, that yeah. every line, every wording has a meaning to it. Charlie. And it's deep. The Bible we have, eh, mm. if we will understand it, understanding is a product of study, not reading. And I realized that being hungry, and seeing a billboard displaying your favorite meal does not mean you are satisfied. No okay. clue. Now, on that same billboard, you have the direction to the restaurant that provides that food. If you cannot read, will you be satisfied? No. Now, if you can read but cannot understand, will you still get the food? No. So why tell me God is in the Bible? Wow. John 1 says, in the beginning was the Word, mm -hmm. and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Thank you. And then when you come to the verse 2, it says, and He. Mm -hmm. So now the Word has taken a, a, a form of a human of being. a human being, yeah. Then you read John 5, 38, says, because you do not have the Word abiding in, in you. So where is God? In me. Is it in the Bible? So the Bible is showing you where to find God. But the power of God is in his word. Because he is the word. And nothing was made without the word. So if you have God in you and you study his word in the Bible, you are like him. You become him. But something else is competing with the room in which he must stay. That's the heart. <laughs> so, you see, <laughs> what is going on now, mm -hmm. we have to go back. 
we, we have to go back and think again. Begin to honor who must be honored. Then we will be restored. What is going on in this nation is not, what we see in the physical is superficial. It's more spiritual than meets the eye. My son is just out there. Yeah, what an amazing man. <laughs> he's out there. Yeah. And uh, he's sitting out there. And I know he's, he's listening. Because I will not raise you for you to bang your hopes on what I have. I worked for. I'll teach you to work. My joy will be what I leave in you, not what I leave for, for you. you. So I need to improve into you that which helped me become who I am now so my experience will not be your experience it will be your master a teacher to lead you so you don't mock at the falling of your leader but rather you thank your leader for falling so you know that you can fall here thank you you don't speak ill of your leader mm. for, for, for doing the wrong thing, but rather praise the leader for showing you how to do it right. Mm. You don't break your leader for saying the wrong thing at the right place, but rather you thank him mm. that when I am standing here, this is what I must say. Mm. So you don't condemn a place you have never been. Mm. Rather, you humbly pray for strength for whoever is there to be able to teach you right. One thing I love is Anna. Mm. If you have Anna in you, humility is automatic. Unfortunately, we have broken the most important life wire of our education. Which is? Patriotism. Look at our educational structure today. There is nowhere in it that gives the children hope in this nation. It's rather raising generations that believe that foreign lands can make them better than their own land. It's true. It's true. So why worry when somebody is leading you like foreign? Your educational structure. I'm a product of elementary school. Form one, form two, form three, form four. In those days, the secondary schools we had, which you now have senior high, the secondary schools we had had subjects like we used to call it then. Mm -hmm. Now you people call it what? Curriculum. The things that we were being taught made us patriotic. So we loved our nation. Uh, Abba didn't watch that one. Something like what? What were you taught? Can you tell School me? Us a little bit. Uh -huh. Now, wait a minute. The things we were being taught then mm -hmm. are now the things being taught in the universities. And the Bible says, if the foundation be corrupt, mm -hmm. what can the righteous do? Yeah. A mm. yet. More what they was here one more from me. No, man, I worry that one was university. What say foundation? No. Those were the days we loved the elderly. And respected We the respected elderly. them. And Those them. were the days mm -hmm. you will never walk by an elderly woman carrying a load and not help her. No quite. Those were the days mm -hmm. you will not sit in a bus mm -hmm. and watch an elderly person mm -hmm. stand. Those were the days you had the identity of your school mm -hmm. on your chest. Mm -hmm. So when you misbehave, you can be disciplined. Those were the days that everybody's child mm -hmm. is everybody's child. So moral rights. We had moral rights. We, yeah. we had morals. Mm. Morals. Those were the days every young girl, by the time you attain the age of 17, you know how to cook. It is good to copy, but better to copyright. 
It is good to copy, but better to copyright. What are we? That means you are in in charge. You are you are in all copyright. Yeah. Copyright. Baby, I ye no. What are the immediate things I you bet me I ye to to make things right at this very moment? We must be truthful. Oh. Take responsibility. Tell everybody the true state where we went wrong. And then go back and work on our educational structure. We must be truthful. truthful. I don't know where I got that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We must be able mm -hmm. to tell the state in which we are. Mm -hmm. Take responsibility. Mafum. Mafum. Makade mutu mayo. Makade de mena me na. Oboko ye. Injo mofe jia ke ken feel and ken feel and ken. Ebaya. Shinto. Can I tell you this? Mm -hmm. If you allow your tummy to lead you, your destination will surely be the washroom. And okay. And that is where we are. We have been led. Look, everybody looking for money wants to fill the tummy of something. How did we get to this point of, you know, making money like the so, put it this way, parity in our, in our homes? Boss, it goes, in our back, society? It goes uh -huh. back to our system of education. We are raising competitors, not complementers. One time. One time. So even when you are driving and somebody ahead of you, <clears throat> excuse me, is going slow and you want to overtake, that is when the person will also start speeding. Are we going to the same place? No. You're going at your pace and I'm going somewhere, but your pace will make me late. Thank God there is a space for me to over. Why compete with me? I was talking to a group of women mm -hmm. and I told them, women, stop raising sons and start raising kings. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Do you know why? Mm -hmm. If you see a king in your husband, you will raise a priest. No quite. But if you see a husband, you will raise a son. Because mm -hmm. you don't feel safe, so you are raising a son to come and protect you. But if you see a king in your husband, you know your son is a potential prince and a potential king. So you raise. As a king. As a king. To be. To be. So he will not be inward looking. Mm -hmm. Outward. What are we raising? Sons and daughters. Not prince and princesses. In the beginning, it wasn't so, was it? In the beginning, it wasn't so. So we had, you see, we, we, we had this family. I'm coming back to it. Oh, yes. We didn't have too much of tribe. When I was growing up, mm -hmm. everybody belonged. Mm. Everybody is part of it. But look at it all of a sudden. Mm. Mm. Right. I am the most useless. Mm. What was the genesis of all this? Mm. When we began, when we started to change the educational structure. When you study how, what Dr. Kwame Nkrumah intended. You are in Accra, you've passed your common entrance or whatever. They send you somewhere. So in one dormitory, you have a generation mm. of almost every tribe in Ghana. All right. All right. So by the time you come out of the secondary school, your friends... Mm -hmm. You have Northerners, you have Gans, you have Fantis, you have Evers, you have Anglons, mm -hmm. you have all of them. Oh, you know what? I said to you um, before we began this um, groundbreaking interview that will travel the whole world.
that's what's going to happen because you would send someone, you would share to another person and of course get this message right because we need it. You've soaked so much wisdom, so much knowledge. We will continue with Timisrewa. Do the right thing. Don't be stingy with this information. No, 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 Welcome back to Max Morning. I know your soul has been fed by this wisdom that is coming from Apostle. Um, please, we're going back to the conversation. Apostle, yes, um, sir. Let's go back to correct our education system. Yeah. Yeah. And now uh, you touched on the foundation um, being family yeah. and what families must do. Like, yeah. let's go back to Sanko yeah. Fayenko the yeah. very virtues and values yeah. um, that we used to uh, have. Right. Um, in this present time, in Asisa, as parents, what must they do in raising their children as we speak? The fear of God is paramount. Very, very important. You know, I have 13 children Wow. in my house. 13. 13. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, I did not say three and 10 adopted. I said 13, 13 children. children. So when you come to my house, you cannot tell which is mine and which is, is not mine. Not yours. Family brings unity mm. and deals with segregation. Family brings unity and deals with segregation. All right. We must begin to appreciate our children mm. according to the energy they came with mm. and their mission. Mm. Let me give you an example. Hey, maybe it's a better doctor. No, check the plumber. Need the new one in fast. That has always been the case. Oh, you should be an engineer. Hey, maybe it's a lawyer. So from foundation, you are making the children think being a doctor is the best, being a lawyer is the best, but being a carpenter. On count. For all you know, mm. that child is the Jesus, the son of the carpenter. Mm. Failure is not because you do nothing. Come on, don't let me preach. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you, you failed because you do not appreciate and love what you're doing. Mm. Because you can have money and still feel you have failed. You feel empty. Unfulfilled. Mm -hmm. So, if you are able to raise the child to appreciate who he or she is, be proud of it, and counsel them in their field, we will have a society that will respect each other. Even in the class, how do we relate to the children? Mm. The lecturers. Mm. Are we producing managers or leaders? Mm. Are you lecturing me to write back exactly what you've taught me? 
Mm. or to give you back the better form of what you've taught me, mm. so you will be a proud lecturer. Mm. Mr. Lecturer, mm. are you proud that a lot of students failed your paper? So you are the toughest? No, you mm. have failed. Thank you. You are not good because more failed. Mm. You are good because they passed. Thank you. So you need not pride in the number of failures that you had. So I'll go back to the education. What are we doing about it? It's all about our education in the church. You can see that recently, Obia Sora, not a lambaster, sorry. Mm. And they don't get it. Mm. The fault is not the church. Mm. The fault is not the preachers. Excuse me, you got it wrong. Mm. We have 24 hours in a day. Mm. How many hours do people spend in church? Wongen mm. dada. And our bar, sorry. They already had foundations before coming to the church. It's true. They stay in the church for just three hours. Some come to church once a week. Mm -hmm. That's on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And they stay maximum three hours. Mm. And you are expecting somebody, in fact, multiply 24 by seven mm. and take three out of it. That is the only time the church, the pastor, has with the member. It has a relationship. Mm -hmm. The other hours is with the world. So the problem is what the world is molding them to bring into the church, not mm -hmm. what the church, the church is molding, molding them, them to bring, to bring into, into the, the world. world. But if they will allow what the church says mm -hmm. to take hold of them, like I told you, like if God is in you, mm -hmm. transformation becomes easy. It is true. So we need to go back and take a second look at what we are raising. Of course, you can't drop beans and expect purple. Never. So what we have in society today is a product of the seeds we sow. One, we must revisit the education. Two, we must learn to be truthful. Did you do it? Yes, I did it. I'm sorry. Mm, mm, mm. You can imagine how society will be. Did you lie? Yes, I lied. I respect former President Kufuor so much. Wow. When he came into power, I think the second year, then he said, wow, I'm sorry. I thought being a president was easy. So I said so many things. But coming here, now I can see that it is, it is a different easy. thing altogether. So sorry for what I said. Mm. Mm. He was in power and he said it. That is repentance. I tell people I don't take apologies. Don't apologize to me. Repent. Repent. That means such a wagon. A bottom is such a wagon. Now, so banning such a. A change of mind is not an act of repentance. Okay. Suban. Change of mind is temporal. Okay. And it is just a part of the body. That is why I didn't say change your mind and be born again. He said repent. A total transformation. <laughs> yes. Right. We need a total transformation. Men of God are preaching you. But the people are not opening up to be reached. Because the preach, when you take the P, which stands for the people. Reach. You have reach. So preach simply means reaching the people. You touched on, a friend, then, the world. Mm. Um, having to have more access to the people mm -hmm. than the amount of time our friend then the church actually has with yeah. the people. Yeah. Now, you share how to protect the children because information now, Ofi. <laughs> <laughs> my son out there, I will take my money, go and buy TV or an electrical gadget and I'll be sitting in my living room he is in his bedroom and he's controlling the TV on his phone. But my money bought it. The children we have now, Charlie, they are so far ahead of us that if we do not control them the way they should go, we will regret. Don't pride that. Oh, my banner's a. Chando, you're clever, or you're day, or you're... no. Mm. 
me banned the mates and matters. I been a lane chossele. Chossele is what matters, not a lane. For um, fathers, our wing yet demanded seeing because we have young marriages out there which are really breaking up. <laughs> Don't go there. Mammy, I'm going to cry because on that phone cry. I'm going to cry. As some fine one, and the um, um, fathers are war battle in their relationship crowd between Oman and Warrena, you know, and they have um, children. You know. What should they do in this time to turn around their lives and that of their children? Hey. Keep this in your knee. Every man is the wife's baby boy. Every man says to me, keep you with me, <laughs> is a wife's baby boy. Unless you have stopped breastfeeding. Unless you stop breastfeeding. All right. I like the way you paused there before <laughs> saying the breastfeeding. But if you are still <laughs> breastfeeding, you are the eldest baby boy. Wow. 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 You don't know how to meet. She's come to help you meet. So mm. who is the senior? This year. Why do you think God asked them to submit? Because they have so much power in you. That if they want to release you, the man, you are in trouble. So the only way Woo! God can handle that power <laughs> hey. is to put in the clause sub. Make us in natural. Recently, I sat down quietly in a message. Understanding the knowledge of how to how to really know who a woman is, because I wouldn't have any. Woman. Don't try, mommy. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> never pray that prayer again. The man. Now let me show you something. Why? I'll show you something. God punished the man mm -hmm. that for what has happened. Out of your sweat shall you eat. Mm. Then the serpent lost his limbs. Mm -hmm and said, on your belly, and dust shall you eat. Mm. So until then, the serpent was not eating dust. No. Two, the serpent was not walking on the belly. Mm. Then he comes to the woman. And he says, I will multiply your pain in delivery or in labor. Mm. After the man shall you go. Mm. But when it came to the offense, he said, your seed. God transferred mm. the highest punishment to the seed of the woman, Oye Begin. But not the woman. What is it about the woman? I, I think we have to look for another time. So never try to understand the woman because the woman is the finality of God's creation. Final product. Now, why will a woman go buy a new dress? <laughs> uh -huh. I wish I could get up to show you what they do. Mm -hmm. You know, a woman will go buy a new dress and then stand in front of the dressing mirror, uh, uh, put the dress in front of her like that, and then whilst the mirror is here, she will turn her back. The dress is in front of her, but she will turn her back. What is she looking at the back? I have no idea. That is woman for you. They are so complex that the only thing you can do to control the woman is to love her. Is to love her. But no woman has love. God did not create the women to mm. love. No quite. They have a sense of responsibility. Mm. So when you make a woman responsible, she interprets that to be love. No quite. Wait until the first baby comes and you'll know if you are loved. Oh my word! <laughs> Apostle Abraham Lamte, head pastor of Believers House of Worship International. Ah! What a morning, me pacho, me pacho, mestre de um, ebesamba. Ne ya continue we. Okay. Yami Just now, let me know. Or, or people want to reach you for counseling yes. or the, what, yes, which yes. line can they reach you on? If 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 you want to reach me, kindly call this number. 0244 or 0242 
0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0034-0